G'day, back again with Bellatro, and I keep telling myself to stop playing the demo because the new full version is nearly out. I don't want to burn out on it before I get the full version, but I really just cannot stop playing this. So uh, I'm back again, and I thought I would record and share this with you. So again, if you're not aware, Bellatro is a poker roguelike deck builder um, with all sorts of crazy builds and modifiers and cards, and it is as you can probably tell, addictive and really, really good. Um, so, before we kick off, just want to say if you like my content, and I'm covering lots of different, uh, you know, indie games, small developers, and demos, um, yeah, please subscribe, please like, it really makes a difference and, and helps me out. And uh, if you have any uh, suggestions for other games for me to cover, just uh, leave a comment in the comment section below, and I will uh, I'll acknowledge and respond to everybody. So, uh, please do that. All right, to start off, if I skip this blind, I get $15 for defeating the boss, and that's a no-brainer, I think. Although the double tag is good as well, I think I need to fight this fella. So I will. Um, okay, so I think we're just going to aim for flushes again. Oh my, I've made a real mess of whatever the hell that was. But I can go 10 back queen, king, ace at least, and not completely disgrace myself. I don't know what I was thinking there. I... A little bit out of practice, maybe. Uh, well, that's a shame. Just need one more spade, please. Thank you. Flushes are just my jam. They just seem to be the way to go, especially early on where you just get a couple of those and uh, easily reach the blind. All right, what $11? Tarot cards are two times more frequent with this voucher. That's pretty good, potentially. Okay, misprint is random. This one is 20, but minus four every round. So this is a bit more guaranteed, but it will degrade over time. But I'll tell you what, I could potentially get some really good multipliers going just from those two. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to fight the boss here, the manacle, minus one hand size. And I need to make 600 chips. Should not be too difficult, hopefully. So I'm going to discard these. I might go for another flush. And I might do that again. Thank you. We'll see what multipliers I get out of these. 18 and 20, I mean. <laughs> Not a problem. But this game does let you uh, fall into a false sense of security because early on you can get ridiculous hands. And uh, very quickly you can be humbled when the blinds become incredibly high. But uh, that's okay. So my $15 is very helpful. Plus two chips for every dollar you have. So if I save money, that's just adding chips to my multiplier every turn. That's really good, potentially. And allows straights to be made with gaps of one rank, which is also ridiculous, frankly. Uh, do I just spend all my money? I mean, the idea of this one is to save money. Right? But that could really get me out of a jam. So I think I will just do that, and I might leave it there. So if I skip this, a load of voucher, I don't think I want that. I think I'll just play this one. Uh, so if I go rank, what straight can I get? Like 7, 8? No, I can't get anything there. Suits. I've got two of everything. That's really not helpful at all, is it? So what I might do. The other hand with a bit of this. Get two pairs, which is better than nothing. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Still smash the score. I always do that. I always think, oh, I'll think about it. And then I just, you know, beat the score comfortably. And I really wonder why I was worried. Uh, adds the sell value of all own jokers to left to the malt. So that could be good. Live up straight, actually. While we've got this, yeah. That might be the way to go. So that means our straights get us more chips and more multipliers. And with this card, our straights come much easier because we can have gaps in them. So not too shabby. I'm going to skip this one. And we're going to get a, a uncommon joker in the shop. So that might be something really good as well. So this guy's multi uh, modifier, sorry, is all face cards are drawn face down. Which is potentially an issue because then you can't see what suit they are. But if you do this, you know they're not spades and they're probably not... No, they could be a heart, but they're definitely not spades. So... What am I going to do here? Seven, eight, nine. Maybe I will, just rather than waste a discard now. Seven, eight, eight, nine. I might get a 
straight out of this if there's a 10 or a jack. Not quite. That's right, that's still not a bad score. Uh, okay, what I'm going to do. That, 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 that. Maybe just to get them out. And uh, I've won easily, so that's fine. So these are really doing some heavy lifting early on with the extra multipliers. Now this is only down to plus eight. I wonder if they nerfed that. I feel like they didn't go down so quickly last time I used it. But uh, anyway, first discard of the round has only one card. Destroy it and earn three dollars. Each plate ace gives four, two, three, five, or eight. Gives a multiplier, plus one hand size. That's potentially very good. Thank you, I'll take that. Um, so this is the uncommon joker. If I discard, it destroys the card, but I earn three dollars. Potentially, potentially good to clear the deck and earn some cash, which obviously helps this. But don't think I'm going to go that way this time. I'm going to keep my money at this stage. Rerolls the boss blind. What's that? Lose one dollar per card played. That could be bad, but I don't think it's bad enough that I want to re-roll it because it could be a lot worse. Okay, so two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I still need five though, don't I? It's not, it's not the same as one that only needs four. So I can't quite pull that one off. But I can get sort of two pairs going just to clear the hand a little bit. Still a respectable score from that. And likewise, I might go... Clear this out. And done. So this poor popcorn joker is nearly out of its uh, useful life. Very kind. Even cards give plus four malt. I'll happily play on, I think. Rerolls decided at zero dollars. Not too concerned about that. I am concerned about our longevity here. What do we need? 4,800. And this Joker is... I don't know, this is his last last round of useful life, isn't it? Yes, okay. So, that wasn't fantastic. We can get sort of two pairs out of this. Is that worth anything to me, though? May as well. Yeah, starting to drop off a little bit here. Uh, three of a kind. Am I just wasting these hands, we think? Two hands to make 1800, and I've got... Nine, ten, skip the jack, queen, king, ace. There we go. A bit better. Oh, so popcorn doesn't just go to zero, it actually destroys itself as well, so I can't sell it. Uncommon jokers each give plus 1.5 malts, and I've got two of those. So that seems like a no-brainer. I think I've had this one in the last run, actually, so that's good to see. I'll take that. And I will play. So this is what I want to finish quickly. 9, 10, Jack, Queen, King... Okay, that really helps a lot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, I can go a high one, can't I? Um, queen, jack, ten, nine, eight, seven. There we go. And we're done. That came in clutch there. Beautiful timing. So. Gains multiplier per playing card added to the deck. This could be good as well. Holographic foil and polychrome cards are more common. That's a voucher, so we'll buy that. Just to have that sitting in the background and helping out. I don't mind this one. I haven't actually added any cards yet, have I? And I probably don't see myself getting too many, but it's probably uncommon, right? So that's an extra 1.5 multiplier straight off the bat, plus a 1 multiplier. So that's not bad at all. So 
ethereal tag gives a free spectral pack that can be good uh could be good at choose one of two spectral cards to use immediately that's a scary looking number though isn't it what the hell let's go for it could be make or break here Add a red seal to one selected card. Retrigger this card one time. Or add polychrome to a random joker. Destroy all other jokers. Okay, no thank you. I guess we'll take this and I guess I'll add it to what's what's valuable here. The ace of spades, why not? Uh I definitely need to play this one, I think. Hmm. How do I play this? Ace, king, king, queen, queen. That's really not great, is it? Still not for the sake of it at that point. I need to focus on... Flushes. And you guys aren't helping. God damn it. I can't believe it. <laughs> I just wanted a spade or a diamond and it could give me neither. Okay. Nine, ten, jack, queen, king, ace. There we go. Really regret losing all my shuffles or discards, sorry, so early, but it is what it is. Okay. What are you? Straight up plus four multiplier. Four of kind, playing cards. I mean, just doing this will increase his multiplier and potentially give you something good. Such as a wild card holographic multi card. I mean, oh, that's good too, but I'll take that. His mult goes up. I get a good card. Everybody's happy. Cards drawn face down after each hand played. This is potentially devastating. Okay, so ace, skip the king, queen, skip the jack, 10, 9. Okay. Uh, if I discard those, they'll come back face down. So I really want to sort by suit. Oof, not good, is it? Not looking good. I'm going to discard these. Yeah, okay. Oh, I thought they'd come back face down. Uh, after each hand, okay. Uh, well, I'm going to play that flush. Oh, that's not going to cut it for us, is it? Suit. Ooh. Jeez. Do I assume... I can't really assume anything, can I? That's terrible. Alright, well, um... <laughs> Rip to this run. Well, you're definitely spades, right? So... Maybe? No. 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 Didn't have it. Sorted by suit, did I? Oh, this is. Hmm. Oh my god, I just snuck in on the last hand. That was just incredibly lucky. I mean, I don't know what else you can do in that situation. Except just play what you can. Um, I will grab this plus one hand per round, which is guaranteed to help. Uh, let's go. Skip this one and get a free mega standard pack. But then I need 24,000. But that's two of up to five playing cards. So that means this multiplier will increase twice. And I'm going to get a queen of spades and I'm going to get a I actually have no idea how to use the stone card. I'm going to select that, and I'm going to select that. Multiply, go up. I am not skipping you, because you are scary. I'm going to put the foil queen in a flush here. Get those chips happening. Lovely. Uh, and I need just one more heart card, please. Thank you very much. Plus zero malt, you dog. 
Um, how can you do me dirty like that? Not so worry. And we're done. I feel like I'm just missing a... Uh, <laughs> a holographic popcorn. Tell you what, you've done well. You're uncommon. No, no, you're common. The holographic. 20 malt, but plus 10 malt, I mean. Come on. I'll add another playing card here, just to increase his malt again, and hopefully get something good, which is a King of Diamonds. It creates a planet card if held at the end of the round and gives me extra chips. Why not? So here's the club. All club cards are debuffed. And I need $32,000. The debuff isn't too bad, really. Unless your like, you'll run focuses on using clubs, which I haven't really seen that myself. Um, if you stay in my hand, I get a planet card, so I'm just going to leave you there. Do, do, do. Why are you de- Oh, because you're a wild card. Do I bring you in? I think I- Oh no, because you won't get the buff, will you? I'll do this, just to play it safe. I think we're pretty comfortable anyway. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That'll do. Dash that one out. How good is it since I've discovered the, uh, the- speed increase. I mean, this thing is flying now and they've they've designed it really well where it actually speeds up everything. So it's not just, oh, the animations are fast, but everything else is still slow. Everything is just flying. Destroys two cards, creates a tarot card. Yeah. Don't want a tarot card. Let's have a look. Converts three cards to diamonds. Creates the last tarot card. So that's Saturn. Yep. And converts cards. Yeah, I might recreate Saturn. Neptune. I don't know where... Oh, yeah, I got that from my king, didn't I? I'll just use these. Upgrade a couple of straights and straight flushes. No worries at all. And move on. Here's the... Ah, oh, I should have spent all my money. Oh, no. I'll leave some. They'll give me 60 chips. Right. Spoil for choice here. Do I want to go hearts or spades? Hey, nope. What's he doing? Ah, uh, he forces one card to be selected all the time, which is a pain. And I do a straight. Ace, King, Queen, Jack, 10, 9, 8. Done. That's a healthy, healthy hand. King, I don't really want to play you because you are not a flush. I don't want to play you either. Go away. Thank you. We'll play this one. Earn lots of money and absolutely cream the boss. You win the demo. Best hand was 46,000 chips, which is pretty good. Played 10 flushes. You dealt with that pretty well. Thank you very much. All right. That was actually a really quick, really fun and <laughs> a little bit tricky early, but uh, became a very strong run. So again, this is Belletro. If you haven't seen it before, I definitely recommend you check it out. The demo is available now on Steam. The full game, I think, releases later this month. So chuck that on your wishlist. It is really good and really addictive. So thanks for watching. And again, if you liked the video, please like and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more. And if you have any feedback or would like to see me play any game, uh, please feel free to make a recommendation in the comments. So thank you, and I'll see you next time.